and welcome to my channel if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe this channel is dedicated to discussing things having to do with the different dimensions and spirituality and how we can grow the inner man in preparation for what is to come so today is the topic um, that we're going to be covering and this is as a result of a lot of discussions I've been having over the last couple of weeks and it has to do with allowing and surrendering to the golden path and the golden path is something that I came across you know online I'm not even sure where but basically what it speaks to is a path that opens serendipitously one that we do not plan or strategize or scheme or you know presuppose or force it's a path that opens because we are aligned it's a path that opens because we are in the right place at the right time it's a path that opens based on our gifts based on our talents based on our vision for our future and I'd like to just use the opportunity here to explain that sometimes it is when aspects of our lives are falling apart that the golden path opens. So for example, and I'm going to give this one because it's a very common one, relationships, especially marriages. We have been programmed by society to believe that marriages are supposed to be intact, you know, through sickness, through health, through rich or through poor. And so many of us, and definitely many of our mothers and fathers, would stick or stay in marriages that absolutely served neither parties. Now we're a little bit more liberated and if something doesn't serve us, we are willing to let it go. But there are still many people who torture themselves and experience inner hell with the hope that they can preserve their relationship. So I'd like to offer this alternative perspective. Sometimes when relationships are disintegrating, it, it is just because they are no longer serving their purpose. One or the other has changed their vibration. They're vibrating at a higher frequency or a lower frequency. If it happens to be you and you have raised your vibration through your commitment to your practice, through meditation, through eating well, through following a particular path, and you have left your partner behind, perhaps, or even friends behind, perhaps, then you need to just let go and continue on your path because your path is for you. You cannot pull someone else on your path. You cannot stop and wait for them to get their act together so that you can go together. You must just continue on the path that you are on. This is just how it is. You were born together. When you leave, you're gonna leave. You were born by yourself. When you leave, you will leave by yourself. So your journey is essentially for yourself. If you are fortunate enough to have a partner to travel the entire path with, then, you know, this is amazing. But I just want to bring out the fact that sometimes you might have to let go of certain relationships in order to proceed along your path. So this golden path that I'm talking about is one that is not forced you will know that it's the right path because it's so effortless everything falls into place with ease with grace with joy doors open that you never thought would be open um people are helpful um money shows up to facilitate something so expectation determines the outcome we receive what we stay focused on and so if we remain attached to a failing marriage, we're going to continue to have a failing marriage. But if we expect a beautiful life, 
in spite of that broken relationship that we are leaving behind, then we will likely attract that. So the message here is to understand that when certain things are falling apart, we should allow them to fall apart, knowing that something better is about to emerge. Rather than fight it, we just allow it, we surrender. And it is during this surrender that we begin to see the benefits, we start to see the gains. So the trick is to hold your vision on what it is that you want, because it is coming. It may seem, because it's very uncomfortable when things are falling apart. After all, we are programmed to feel happy when we have comfort, stability, and familiarity in our lives, even if sometimes it's uncomfortable. However, when we relax and surrender, even if there is a little bit of discomfort, but we know and have faith that the outcome is going to be beneficial to us. Then we relax, we stop fighting, and all that we are envisioning, because we have to hold that vision of what we want. We have to hold that vision to, of what we want. In, in, in holding that vision, we have faith that it is coming towards us, and we will just see a path open and we just gently walk the path and everything is available to us now that sounds like a story and some people might think oh that that won't happen to me but if you think it won't happen to you it's not going to happen to you i've known it to ha have happened to so many people i know and i've seen it happen to me many times even just recently, as, as last month, there was a project that a group of three of us were working on and we were working on it and we were working hard and nothing was working. It just, we had glitch after glitch after glitch. There were technical difficulties. There were other issues just that just caused delays and, and the project did not even come off the ground. However, there was a situation that two of us in the group decided to jump in and assist some people on. And just that very intent to help many people at the same time opened a whole floodgate um, that none of us expected to be open. And all, a whole lot of people are being blessed by just that small act of surrendering when the other project wasn't working. And um, assisting another group of people in doing something else made that whole situation in the other project just unravel and open up for everyone. So just wanting to encourage everyone to stop being so attached to things that are falling away. Just surrender and allow certain things just need to fall away so that other things better things can come to you so never give up just know especially in these times that things are accelerating there's a lot of intensity a lot of pressure right now because many of us have been hiding from our goals and path like we are literally preventing ourselves from getting onto the golden path and so what we want to do is relax, surrender, because now is the time when we're going to see a lot of acceleration. And many of us are going to be thrust forward on our golden path, because this is what's going on in the cosmos now. We have just finished the spring equinox. Now is the time for productivity. Now is the time for action. So now is the time when all the intensity that we just experienced a while ago, we're going to see why we experienced all this intensity and there was going to be forward movement. So we must embrace it and allow it. Mm -hmm.